Hello again ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Hindi, the Android Authority App Guy, and it's about that time of the month to round up the best new Android games that were released in June of 2017. If you want to check out any of these apps for yourself, you can find those links in the video description below. Adobe Scan is a new document scanner app. You can use it to scan all kinds of documents, and that includes receipts, forms, images, business cards, and more. The images are saved as Adobe PDFs, and from there you can email them or do whatever you need to do. It also comes with enhancement features such as cropping, rotating, and there are a few white balance presets to help make the document look cleaner. It's currently free to use, although we don't know if it'll remain that way forever. It is pretty decent, although there are a few bugs. CineTrack is a movie information app. It grabs its information from a variety of sources that includes Tracked, IMDb, Metacritic, and Rotten Tomatoes. The application helps you discover new movies based on what you've watched. It can also keep you up to date on new movie releases. People can also keep track of the movies that they've seen or want to see. The free version is essentially a trial and the pro version will unlock all of the features. There are a variety of ways to pay for the pro version and you can even buy promo codes for your friends and family. It's rather new, but we think it's kind of neat. Coloring Book for Creative Kids is exactly what you think it is. It features a fairly basic but easygoing coloring book experience. Kids can draw and color items with a few different tools in a bunch of different colors. Additionally, you can choose from a bunch of coloring book pages or a blank canvas in case your kids want to draw. The images are categorized in a few different themes and they're all kid friendly. It's not going to blow anybody's mind. However, it's also not one of those horrible coloring book apps that ask for a subscription. It's still in beta, so do expect some bugs if you want to check it out. Craftlog Recipes is a recipe application that encourages sharing. People moving around the application can find a variety of recipes for a variety of diets. Many of them include images and even video to help you prepare them. The fun part is that you can add your own recipes if you want to. The application can also help you record and upload video and images to show people how to make your dish. It can even translate your dish into multiple languages if you want it to. This one is in beta and thus there are definitely bugs. However, it's free to download and use so it's hard to complain too much. Face Swap admittedly isn't the most interesting application that we've ever talked about. It does work pretty well though. It allows you to swap your face onto somebody else's body. The application developers swear that this is good for some actual uses. You can see what you look like in a new outfit or with a new hairstyle. It also lets you swap faces into virtually any picture and you can even put your head on a statue and the application can switch the skin tone to match the statue's texture. It works really well and it's actually a lot of fun. It's also free to use. Phoenix 2 is the sequel to one of the most popular Twitter apps ever. This one features a cleaner interface, a simpler experience, and some decent features. You can customize your main page with things like lists and save searches for quick access, and it also has themes as well as a mute system that works for hashtags, keywords, and other Twitter users. It had a few issues when we tried it out, however, we expect that they'll be patched before its official release. Did we mention that this one's in beta? It's free for now, but the final release will be a paid app. Firefox Focus is the latest browser from Mozilla. This one is heavily focused on privacy. It will do all of the main browser stuff. You can surf the web, download images, and do the usual stuff. The browser includes ad blocking as well as tracker blocking, and that should help web pages load a bit faster, and it should also help keep your browsing habits a little less public. The browser also features a button that will delete your browsing history, cookies, and everything on one tap. You can pair this with a VPN, and you're essentially hidden from just about everybody. It's also free to use. PathGuide is an interesting application because it's a mapping app that tracks where you walk. The idea is to help you return to a place by mapping your steps in real time. Thus, you can get turn-by-turn -turn instructions on how to return to the entrance of a large building or to where you parked your car. You can also share a path with friends so that they can find you in a crowded environment. It doesn't feel quite ready for prime time just yet. However, it does actually work most of the time. It's definitely an application to keep your eye on. Tim Bray is a rare find in the mobile apps world. It's an MP3 converter and editor. It's not overly powerful. You can do the basic things like cut audio, join two audio files together, and convert them into a few different codecs. You can also split audio tracks into multiple files if needed. This works great with most small form audio. We would even recommend it for basic professional use. It's not Audacity, Reaper, or Adobe Audition, but it's among the best apps like this on mobile that we've seen in a long time. It's also free with no in-app purchases or advertising. 
Wrap Up Smart Voice Recorder is a voice recorder and that shouldn't surprise anybody. It does the basic stuff pretty well, it can record audio, upload it to cloud storage, and share it with other apps. You can also do stuff while it's recording, for instance you can isolate important parts of the recording and access them quickly at a later time. The application will also process your recording and let you search through it as well. The application is in beta so there are some kinks that need to be worked out. It did work pretty well during our testing, but it was a bit clunky. It's free to download with no in-app purchases, at least for right now. And that about does it for this one, folks. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get the latest Android Authority videos as soon as we release them. All of these apps are linked up in the video description below if you want to try out any of them for themselves, and we have more app lists linked up there on the screen. As always, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful day.